Felt like y'all haven't dropped in a while. Mm. Thank you. I was like, yo, I fuck with you, my boy. That's keep, nice. keep, keep the keep, that's keep word. it up. You know that's, what I'm saying? That's inspirational. That's more like a pusher. That's a fact. Big. Word. I ain't gonna say this nigga name, man. You say his name on the top. <laughs> <laughs> the new subscriber, Big Brother. <laughs> Shout out to you, my guy. We we listen. We 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 um, we appreciate you. you. We really do appreciate you. The opposite Dunder. of lightning, you know. Thunder, what I mean? <laughs> thunder. Big Brother, thunder. You know what I mean? Shout out to we my guy, you, man. Seriously, and keep it coming because with a with a name like that, yo. <laughs> You got, you got real big personality. things coming to Word. you. You, know what you got real, real, <laughs> like he said, big things coming to you. <laughs> Pause, you know what I mean? Word, uh, right. <laughs> spin the block. Uh, okay. And Danny Soul. Those are the latest subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them. Yeah, you know what I mean? Shout go out, like, go out. like, comment, and subscribe, and go watch all the latest content. You know what I mean? But um, let's get into the story. We ain't get into the story of, I believe his name is Ralph Yarl. Ralph Yarl. Who's? Yeah, Ralph Yarl. Mm -hmm. That's the kid that got shot. I believe he got shot in the head by the eighty-six-year-old white man. Oh yes, yes. He knocked on his door. It was he the, wrong the wrong door. House. Yeah, yes. it was basically the same address, but it was just the wrong door. You know what I'm saying? Type shit. And you know the white racist man came out, pop, 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 guns popping, no questions. You know what I mean? So his um, what was it? His grandson or his nephew his grandson i think mm -hmm. went on cnn yeah and actually spoke his side like um how he just <laughs> despised <laughs> you know the so skin, yeah you know? it, and it's just like how he was like detailing the house like yeah he got guns here he got guns there and um, did, he was did, afraid you you listen to the yeah. interview did he sound like like he's Remorse not with that. Like, like he's not with that personally. Who, who uh, the, the the grandson the, or whatever. nah? Like he he he's he to me he sound like he's um. A, a person that just don't have a side like mm, we all mm. we're all equal you know what i'm saying like i i didn't see him as like a oh i'm a traitor and i'm just gonna be on this side type shit yeah, nah yeah, like, like what is wrong was wrong was yeah. right is right yeah. Yeah. that's how i that's how i took it okay, okay go ahead. um some people took it as like he you know reading the comments and shit cause I'm, I'm on youtube a lot and um reading the comments some of them is just like, oh, you just want to be down. You know, you want likes from, you know, us and shit. Oh, and he on his have, BLM. Yeah. <laughs> what up? Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? But then you have others is like, you know, at least he understands, you know, like he's trying to give us an understanding of his grandfather or yeah. whatever he is to him. <coughs> and um, I don't think. He will go on, go on there and say shit, knowing that's gonna backfire, backfire on him. Yeah, you know. So, like I said, I, I took it as like, what is wrong is wrong, what is right is right. Um, uh, I, yeah, man, because that shit, man, just, that that stigma of well, it's more than a stigma; it's reality. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That racism shit. Yeah. It needs like we understand. Like I come to the full understanding; it's not going nowhere. You know what I'm saying it's been here since the beginning, and it's not. I mean, it's gonna be everywhere, not just, yeah, I mean, just white and black. It's but every, like it, every, it, every race, it has is. Its own. It's it's almost like because from what I'm gathering, I haven't heard the interview of the grandson or whatever he is yeah. to him, the kin of him. You know what I'm saying? Right. But a millennial, a Generation Z cat. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because they not with that, bro. Mm -mm. Most of them that that I run across, you know what I'm saying? I don't really like converse with white people too much and right. that might be a form of racism on my part you know what i'm saying and i, I, I probably gotta own up to that because i know some people that i have come in contact with that are cool as shit you know what i'm saying i don't think it's racist i just i just think it's like something that if you don't agree with that person that mm -hmm. doesn't say to me yeah. racist like you know like yeah. it's just you have your opinion i have my opinion but we could still coincide <clears throat> yeah. we could still talk but so but i mean like these kids that's like our age or maybe younger than us 10 12 years younger than us like I don't think they with that shit. Like, of course they not. Like, like, bro, I grew up with these. I grew up with people like this that you despise. You know what I'm saying? They show me nothing but love. They you, let me you play want, ball. You they know let what me really put a, a thing on it too with this um 
what is it G generation X generation I think this is the Z generation Z gen- yeah. um, generation Z is the internet you know like exposing and showing you know my the they might expose truth. their neighbor yeah. you know, one day like oh shit your neighbor's racist you know we didn't know that looked, yeah you know they so. always treated me good but you don't see how they treat somebody else that's your age but not your color you know what I'm saying so it's like damn you treated them like that like that shit ain't cool so but uh they call him i think he got sprung out on bail it was like 50,000 or something mm-hmm. like that but what what you think is going to be the end result cuz i mean he 80 something years old he they talk about giving him what was life or some shit like that like all right i mean 25 he got I a mean, good 10 left yeah like <laughs> I, I mean you know who knows but um yeah, all I need to know is that he going to jail and he's His inside. His thing was he was afraid, you know. At what time did he knock on the door? Like, was it at night or like day in the midday? I believe this was like in, this was this wasn't night. It was like midday type. Yeah, shit. the it sun is a, out. Shit, like yeah. So I don't like like that's that mindset right there that you said. Like that's the key word. He said that he was afraid. Afraid of what? Huh? <coughs> I could I could imagine from just watching. You've been living in this area. I was just about to say that. You for Lord knows how long. Knock on your door. Yeah. Have you ever really been in danger? <laughs> I mean, he could have had a medical thing where he's a little, you know, in the head. Got dementia, thought it was, you know. You never know. coming to get me. You never know. But yeah, so to take I'm, it to this extent, man, like shooting a, I, I believe mean, he was like eighteen or something. Thank like you that. that he's alive. You know, he made it through. He recovered and everything. Um, this is just a, a, a um, a wake up call. Maybe just a little, you know, cautious, a little bit sometimes from now on going forward. You know, yeah. but it's it's sad that. Do you move like that? Because like thinking of shit gonna happen or something racial could happen like i um, might misstep something and something like could happen do you go on your day-to-day thinking like that um <clears throat> yeah not all the time though i o- only if like i'm in a setting like but if i'm like just going out my house no yeah. but if i go into like a supermarket or yeah. an or, or area or whatever then it's just like all right you just mm. always gotta you know just be st- where your surroundings yeah. at any time. It doesn't really matter, but it's just, you know, I do take in consideration that I need to just be more cautious. Yeah. Um, I think sometimes I move like that, but sometimes, most of the time I don't because <clears throat> I got like a head trigger with my attitude. So mm. like I get mad fast and like real fast, like, like screaming at the top of my lungs in two seconds type. Oh. You know what I mean? No, I don't think I never really got to that. I don't think I never really got to that point where, um, like, I'm yelling at somebody. Cops almost, cops almost violated me because of that though. Like, and it's my fault. I tried to hop the train and they tried to get me, and I just went off on them niggas. And they was like, "Oh yeah, we gonna show you something in the precinct." I was like, "All right, chill." Like, I ain't gonna, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But yo, speaking of that, like, I just there's this woman that came to my house, um, the auditor. And she went to Germany for vacation, right? Mm-hmm. You know that you could like so. This guy stopped her and was like, "You gotta pay for a ticket." There was no no ticket agency, no cops, no nothing, nobody on 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 the operator, anything. You just get on the train, but you have to pay for a ticket. Mm-hmm. So she was asking, her, she was asking, her, she was like, "What if I just get on and just go?" He's like, "Sometimes you might, you know, they might not be at certain stops, but when they get to a stop." You're gonna have all these officers with dogs and shit, and they check everybody's ticket. Mm. You don't get a summons, my nigga. You go, you go to jail. Straight to jail, yeah. Or if you run, you getting shot. Mm. You would never have that here. So, like in a country like that, you know, like those countries, they have you know control and order and shit. Hit what? On a different level Yo, too, because it's word, not like. like like America adopted that shit like you know land of the free Mm -hmm. freedom of speech and then instead of doing that monarch thing and you know what I mean they did a president yeah but you go to these other countries boy like I always tell Cole I'll be like yo Cole I'm trying to go to like 
Saudi Arabia or something one day. You know what I mean? Just to chill and see the sights. He like, nope. I'm like, why not? He like, bro, I can't. We can't smoke. Not even a clip, nigga. We smoke a clip over there. They cutting our hand off. We going to jail. All this extra shit. That's why I said like, here, like we spoil. Like yeah, 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 spoil. Like this is just you know. That's a fact. That's a fact. But is that? Would you rather this than that? I mean. If you asking me this now, fuck no. <laughs> yeah, you know, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because you wasn't I, I raised wasn't, right. That, I wasn't yeah. raised like that, you know. But um, if I was, you know, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Re- I would probably have the opposite thinking of like, damn, America have it so good. Yeah, you know. I mean, because I was just watching Joe Rogan and he had this um <laughs> Asian lady on there, right? And mm-hmm. she was talking about uh, what's his name, Yo- King Young Yu, whatever his name is, yes. King Young Yu. Mm-hmm. Whatever his name is, she was like, yo, yeah. she was like twenty, twenty five or something. Mm-hmm. She was like, yo, I, I did not know what. I'm trying to think of the simplest shit that she said. Like she says, she says simple shit. Like I didn't know what movies were, like what TV was. I didn't know that there was anything outside of China. Like when you born, you just you only know what's in in, in you that country. You only know that's his it. story, right? They, t- they just teach you his story and that's it and yeah. that's who you praise and they set you on your job and what school you're gonna go to and everything and like they keep you and i'll be like yo how if this country has the <clears throat> most population the highest pop- how do you keep control of that many people it's scary and i think it's with force and power and like fear you know I what i'm saying say that. yeah. Fear, yeah that's yeah. how you control like if you don't do this like you dead and your whole family going down type shit like and that's crazy to think that that's how countries that's how you are brought up like yao ming the basketball player Mm -hmm. his parents was the two tallest male and female in their classes they Mm -hmm. forced them to get married and mate oh wow so they could give birth to him wow because they both was athletic as well oh so they wanted the the, the generation to keep going and going (laughs) and going Shit, why not, right? <laughs> shit, you don't really get tall Asians like that. You know what I mean? That nigga was seven six type right. shit. You that damn shit right, yo. Y'all need a mate. <laughs> like nah, now. That shit is crazy, man. Um but I know a lot of people that do move like that, like real cautious of their surroundings and mm-hmm. people. People, because people are what makes shit dangerous. Because they, we all got a mind of our own. And you don't know what people's intentions are. Yeah. You don't know how they think. You don't know. You don't know what they like. What they have on their shoulders, on their head, on an everyday basis. Like, mm-hmm. and you just might just be that one person that just said, you know. That's what I was hello thinking. wrong. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. I was like, what the fuck yeah. was designer thinking? <laughs> I, don't, I don't even know. You, saw, you, you heard that story? <laughs> they said that boy was on the plane relieving himself, you know what I'm saying? Getting that. Mm. Not off Like what He said he ain't get no pussy in Japan <laughs> So he did on the plane So he did He couldn't wait to get home Was that a 24 hour flight What was that Snakes on the plane <laughs> <laughs> Snakes on the plane Snakes like, on the plane What the fuck Like you do it You did it in mid air Like you couldn't do it In your hotel room Nasty Like that me- Well like, you couldn't do it In, in, in the hotel room Before your, you left That's what I'm saying Like and With someone <laughs> <laughs> Maybe he saw somebody on the plane. Was like, that's oh, what I was about to say. Like, yo, that shit was. Let me put this in the roller like decks. He, he didn't know what to do with it, so you know. Nah, that's been, that. You can't do shit like that. You know what I'm saying? I do not no, approve you, of this message. Something in your head. At, at the, I mean, listen, I can't speak for a man because I don't know what goes through that your urge. head. Before <laughs> that, that urge that y'all get, um, that was a urge. That was a. That was a. Yo, I can't wait until I fly down because. Can't do that, brother. <laughs> you you can't do that. <laughs> Not on no plane, bro. Not on I no mean, plane. He bro. did it, you know. Yeah, he did it. They said that. Um, they said that he dropped his Vaseline and that, and that's what made people. 